2006, I went to Ghana with the VCU School of Social Work under the leadership of Randy Burland, who is the Assistant Director of Field Studies in the School of Social Work. Randy is an amazing human being. She is the other co-director of this event. We went to Ghana specifically to work with a non-government organization over there called Sovereign Global Mission. Um, Sovereign Global Mission's chief mission is to try to help children in need in the capital of Accra and the area around Accra. Tonight's event is a response to that need and was conceived of as a celebration of the human spirit. The human spirit of the people that we met everywhere in Ghana. Also, the human spirit here in Richmond of the people who came together to make this event a reality. Tonight's event is a quilt of many different types of and genres of performance, sewn as a whole by the heart and the commitment of the performers who came to add their drop to a potential solution of a serious worldwide issue. social work, it's always been important to me to look for ways to provide learning opportunities for students to have international learning experiences. So for a number of years, I've led service trips for students, um, primarily to Latin American countries, and beginning in 2003 to Africa. I came to Ghana, and my wife used to be the field coordinator for the fields. And so she went one day to the slums to work among the children to provide some medications for children on the street. And she met Randy Bolin. In their mission, they, they provide some basic outreach, health care, um, sponsorship for children to attend school in Ghana. And they're in the process of building a child development center, which will help to remove uh, many of the children off of the streets and provide them a place to receive education and shelter. She went back to the slum, and she's seen how we have projected our work and dealing with children, and the joy with which the street children receive us, marveled and said, I feel you are the right organizations we want to work with. And they have been working with us for the past five years. Every year, they bring in students to come and work with us. And I believe the rich experience they get, they get from what they come to do and with us has kept the relationship really until today. On my first visit to Africa, I think I was um, immediately struck by the poverty level um, and seeing children in the streets um, who were sick, who were dying, um, people with disabilities, and the absence of any kind of social services as we know them in the United States. I have not witnessed um, that many children living in those conditions, um, in poverty and hunger and starvation. And um, it was disturbing on levels, 
um, it was exhilarating on some levels because um, the Ghanaian people, or the ones I met, have um, a great deal of joy in their lives. And for kids, like kids in America, laughing and playing and um, the sense of resilience and hope that they seem to carry about their futures. It really made me want to come back and find a way to work with this organization. Several students coming to work with my organization in Ghana. Some stay for six months to do their internship. Some stay for three months to get to know Ghana and to contribute to our project. Some come and stay for one month working with the children in the slums. You know, and to work in a slum, you must look like a slum man to work in a slum. Are you there with me? You need to look like a, pers like a slum person to work with people in the slum. Because when you get to the slum, some are very nasty places that you wouldn't want to go. There are people you will not want to deal with, but these are the people that need help, and that's your profession you are practicing. Some people, places where they sleep will not be as where you sleep. You know, and there are many students that come, and after we have visited all the slums, they come home and weep. And wonder why people could live in such situation and in places like that. So, and then some also make them see the things that they are taking for granted because of the good advantages they have in the U.S., which many do not have. But I, when I got home, I was haunted by what um, I had seen over there and didn't know, you know, as a citizen of the world, what my responsibility was to that experience. Progress on things like the construction of the Child Development Center and the number of children that we could sponsor for school moved very slowly. Um, each year we would go back and move the project along a little bit further and sponsor a few more children. Um, but with such a great need, I think Chris came back and had the idea of doing something in the way of a major fundraiser. And that's how the idea for For Africa was born. I remember he did hard work. And even that day, he was almost beaten by a scorpion, you know. And we do call him all throughout the time he left as a scorpion man. But little did I know that he, had, he, he felt the impact so much that he thought he would do something as this benefit program to help the children of Africa. He saw all this and said, thought, what? I would do something for these children. And, and I'm grateful how he started and set up the whole You know, um, Thursday night there were 98 tickets left out of 225, and Friday night, I mean, that was Friday night. 117 Thursday, 98 Friday, 84 on Saturday. So um, we're doing good. So, and it, traditionally, the last week is it. It's when people all of a sudden just go, I gotta go. I'm a choreographer. I've been a dancer, you know, my whole adult life, and I've put on many dance concerts. I've actually put on some benefits here in Richmond, and all of a sudden one day I just woke up and went, I think um, it'd be great to put on a benefit, and it is gigantic to put on a benefit. It's a huge, complex undertaking. And I said, I think we sh the class should be about how to put on the benefit, and I think the students taking the class should have to put on the benefit. The person that I have is Meter Greeter. When I can remember that she had specifically asked to be at the market. Is this Friday? This is Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or Thursday. Oh. Thursday. We've got great. We're, oh, we're okay. filled. No, we're not going to do holding a holding pen anymore. So just traffic for all night? Thursday, but no, Friday is Vanessa's, Vanessa's group is doing. Saturday. Social work, and particularly for students in Chris's class, this has been um, an incredible way to reach across continents and to build bridges between the VCU community and a community 5,000 miles away in Africa around meeting the needs of um, children who, for them, education is the most important gift they could receive.